Hey everybody, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you so much for watching the AIWF Network YouTube channel as well as the AIWF Ringside Wrestling channel. If you like what you see, please do us a big favor. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications every time we post new videos on both our channels. It means a lot to us and thanks a lot for watching once again. Hey, hey we're sitting here talking and they turn the cameras on and we're all of a sudden here. How's everybody doing today? Rick Diesel right here on AIWF, the original talk show, not that rip off from, you know what I'm saying? We started it all, we do it first, and they steal our ideas just like they always do. If everybody can remember a few weeks ago, I had a young man come down from the great white north, you might want to say, and stirred up a lot of controversy, and he's back today, and he's got a friend with him, Mr. Vance Nevada and Mr. Bugsy Slug, okay? So we got them on the show today. We got a couple more guys from Canada wandering around town. They're gonna stop by a little later on and chat with us a little bit. But if everybody can remember Vance, I got a lot of calls about him. I was gone the week he was here and uh, I was back next week and they really stirred up a lot of controversy. So we're gonna get them right on the air. We're gonna take some calls a little later on. We're gonna try to show some, some clips. It's a little bit of a highlight video from up and around Canada when these guys do their thing. So let's get right to the phone. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, Rick. What's happening? You having a good weekend? I'm always having a good weekend. I don't leave a house unless I have fun. If I ain't gonna have fun, I'll stay at home. You know me. Well, I was just wondering, what did you think about Barry Alive? Or did you see it? I think the whole show should have been under dirt. You know how I feel about the WWF right now, anyhow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not too keen on them. I, I ever since they uh, decided to steal another one of our ideas, I like to say. Yep, I was going to try to call in and say that they're the second one to make up the talk show, but I couldn't get through. <laughs> Still a busy signal. Well, I've heard, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of the fans from down here has called in and said they couldn't get in up there because they want to voice their opinion about what they've done. So just keep trying. I'm telling you. Eventually somebody will get through, and you can voice your opinion about how upset everybody down here in Martinsville is about them stealing our idea. What I hear is they make you say before you get on the air what you're going to say. And yeah, they'll screen your calls. They'll screen your calls. I told you they hung up on me one time when I called, but they don't want me on the air. They'd rather have Paulie Dangerously on the air than me, okay? Um, I was wondering, besides the six-man tag, the Iron Man match, and Jimmy and King Cobra, who else going to be wrestling? Well, uh, the Intimidator's coming back up on the ninth. Uh, Johnny Reb will be there. Dangerous Don Carson, who is still with the AIWF even though Sebastian Kane is gone, okay? Don Carson, he's, he, he's been be real quiet time. about it, but I, I'm sure he'll voice his opinion that night as he does so normally. So who's going to be his partner? I have no idea. I know Robert Roma is still with the TVA. He was in Smith Grove last weekend, but whether or not they will form a permanent duo, so to speak, Instead of Robert being their normal singles wrestler out of the three, or they're bringing another third guy, I don't know. Time will tell. Last week you said um, Eddie was going to interview Brad. Uh, we didn't get the interview, but we'll try to get it before next week's show. Uh, okay. E Eddie, Eddie didn't show up. He, well, he wasn't there. Okay. Uh, so we talked to him, and he couldn't make it to the show. But maybe he'll be in North Wilkesboro tonight, and maybe he can get an interview there. We'll work out something. I promise. And tell you who you can wrestle at the boxing center. Who's that? One sitting beside you. Which one? That one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of stories the week uh, the week that I came back about Mr. Vance Nevada coming down here and expressing his opinion about the area, the people, and certain people in particular. So if anybody wants, to, I, I know he's kind of quiet now, but I'm sure if. Uh, Anybody's got any questions for him, he'll get wound up because he was a rattling off kind of quiet one in a minute. Kind of quiet right now, Rick Diesel. I don't understand what you're talking about. I came down here last time. I gave you a call said, hey, buddy, Rick Diesel, I'm going to be down in the area. And as soon as I get to town, all the wrestlers take off. All the wrestlers took off. They had their, their number one fans calling in, telling them what they were going to do to me. So I invited them all down. I said, yeah, open forum. Big brawl with Vance Nevada in the parking lot. Nobody showed up. Well, I got a question. You going to show up at the boxing center? Well, whether, whether or not Vance Nevada will even be in the United States on November 9th 
is probably still something that has to be worked out. I don't know what his schedule is, but I'm sure that any time that uh, he's available and there's an AIWF card going on, he's more than welcome to step in the ring. He knows that. If anyone's got the guts, if they want to put the belts on the line, me and my big buddy here, Bugsy Slugliano, we're there. If you got the money, baby, we got the time. You bet. What do you think about Halloween Havoc? Ah, uh, I'm not even really interested in it, to be honest with you. I, I tell you what, though, there is an interesting turn of events as far as Halloween Havoc goes. Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan's contract will be up within a month. What's going to happen if both of them leave the WCW? Huh? And what's Liz going to do? Liz going to sit down under a tree on a swing and cry the rest of her life. She disgusts me. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? She, she, I've all, how, many, how many months have I been saying? Ever since she came in WCW, I've been saying, who let this fish in the pond, okay? I mean, that's, she has no expression. woman has no personality. So you know my feelings on Liz. I wouldn't care if she left WCW tomorrow, yesterday. It don't matter to me. I'll call back in later, Rick. All right, thanks. Talk to me. Hey, Rick. What's happening? You don't think those two dudes will jump on you, do you? Well, I, I look at it this way. If, if these two guys want to jump on me, all right, they, there's a couple more guys from, from Canada who's floating around town who's going to be in here a little bit. So these guys can go ahead and try to take over the show all they want to. But maybe the other guys coming in will help me. I don't know. If they don't, then I guess I'll lay here in a puddle of blood like I've done so many times Well, before. hey, if they wanted to help you, they'd be down in the studio right now. I don't see where they're at. Yeah, where we, are they? We are the huh? finest tag team from Canada. We're very soon going to prove that we're the finest tag team in North America. We've held the Canadian Tag Team Championship on two separate occasions. We're down here waiting for some competition, and no one wants to sign the matches. No one's signing their name on the dotted line. Tell them all about it, Bugsy. Yeah, where are these guys that say they're their best tag teams in, in North America? And uh, we're here. There's no one here to take us on. We want some competition, and we're looking for it right now. I bet Rick and Brian will take you on. Oh, they know. Me and Brian has held, held, has held tag team titles in two organizations, okay? All right, not just in one. All right, but anyway, everybody knows how me and Brian feel. Everybody knows. Now, Vance Nevada, if you'll look, I'll give him credit. He's ranked up there in the top 500, too, along with the rest of us, okay? And, and Bugsy's in that list. Yeah. Bugsy's in that I'm list. That we list see too. we got all grades of guys here from top. I just didn't notice your name. We're the best. I was in there last year, too. But anyway. That thing about Hulk Hogan and Macho Man's contracts, uh, yeah. I heard a couple weeks ago Hulk Hogan's already signed through 98. Really? Mm-hmm. It's a good possibility. Macho Man's so popular, I think they'll re-sign him, you know. Well, they probably need to. Because people like him. I mean, he's real popular. Everybody's going to be rooting for him against Hogan. Most of the NWO fans even are, probably. Most of the NWA fans like the other guys more than Hogan in the NWA, like Colin Nash. Yeah. If you'll see him really cheering the think, other guys, and then when Hogan comes out there, they'll like I think, Macho Man. In my opinion, WCW's got enough going right now. If they was to lose Hogan and Savage, it wouldn't be that big of a loss. I know, but I think they're going to try to hold on to everybody and keep all the big names, probably. Yeah, more than likely. Because um, WWF, I mean, if they got Hulk Hogan back, if they turn right around and praise him after all the slander they've done, that would look real bad. Yeah, that's true. And That's Macho true. Man, too, because well, maybe, making... maybe these guys right here, they look like they might fit in real well down at WCW. Of course, you haven't heard them mention WCW a whole lot, have you? Mm. Uh, that Barry Lie match, the end was stupid, I thought, because, all right, this will happen. They had a stupid lightning bolt come down. Yeah, I'm sure it really did strike there. And then they had Undertaker's hand coming up out of the grave and stuff. Yeah, Vince needs a touch of reality real bad. I've been saying that for years. And uh, Sid beat Vader, believe it or not. Really? But uh, Vader messed up, so he had him pinned and he didn't cover him. So. And Sid choked slam Vader, and he's going to fight Sean at Survivor Series. You got a, a prediction on that match? Yeah, Sean. All right. Um, what about Sting? Did you see that where he came out? Yeah. Who you, you think I don't think, on, I, uh, I, I, no, 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 no. I don't think Steve's going to have anything to do with the NWO, to be honest with you. I don't either. Uh, did you see bit. Ric Flair come out? Yeah, I've seen that too. He's going to be at Havoc, ain't he? Uh, in Jeff Jarrett's corner. It's going to be interesting. And J.J. Dillon might show up, so you it, could see. It's going to be real interesting. You going to watch it? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm supposed to leave out. Actually, I'm supposed to leave out in the morning going to Raleigh, so I, whether or not I'll be back, I don't know. Yeah, I'll try to catch it. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure. 
Okay, see you. All right, man. Bye. Talk to me on the air with Rick Diesel, Vance Nevada, and Bugsley, Bugsy Slug. Hey, I can't pronounce your last name. I think it's this long. What's up, Rick? What's happening, man? And much. How's it going? Ah, uh, we're just hanging out, man. You wrestling tonight, man? Yeah, North Wilkesboro. I got King Cobra. Is that you? Uh, you will slaughter that little man, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's these boys from the side of you? Vance Nevada and Bugsy Slug. What well, did y'all say y'all held the Canadian tag team belts? That's right. That's right. Two uh, separate occasions. Well, let me let, let you in a little secret. This is the United States, not Canada. And y'all won't come down here and rule as good as y'all did up there. Believe me, I'm well aware of where we're at. We've had the worst time on the road every time I come to Virginia, North Carolina. It's just never really a great thing, and i got to really talk to my agent because I'm getting really sick of coming down here because whenever I get here, all the wrestlers leave town. Did you notice how he said Virginia, no Virginia and North Carolina like it was all one word? <laughs> I, just, you know, I just had to throw it in. Hey, we got to take a quick commercial, man. All right, no all right. problem. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. Mm. Starting this weekend, aliens invade Collinsville. Is the alien invasion. Watch an alien be transferred to Earth. It starts Saturday night in the Holiday Shopping Center. Saturday, October 26th. It's the alien invasion. It's more than just a haunted house. <laughs> No, ma'am. Mr. Milner, thank you for helping me when my son was in trouble. Thank you. For help for a loved one, remember, it's I-Bun. Honey, it's I-Bun. It's not James Bond, it's I-Bun. 632-3799. 632-3799. I love Mr. Miller. Collinsville Furniture Mart, where you can always get it financed. And remember, they offer revolving charge. Collinsville Furniture Mart is proud to offer Burke Line for the looks, the luxury, and convenience. Best of all, the price is affordable. Burke Line. You got to check out things like this. $33 per month will get you a beautiful Burke Line sectional sofa, and this is a 33% savings. Also remember, Collinsville Furniture Mart is giving you $200 to $400 off any three piece purchase. Plus, Collinsville Furniture Mart is your spring wall chiropractic mattress specialist. They offer a 22-year warranty, and remember, you get $100 off the retail price. At Collinsville Furniture Mart, they're there on North Virginia Avenue, 504 North Virginia Avenue. Call them at 647-7444. That's 647-7744. And remember, at Collinsville Furniture Mart, you can always get it financed. For years, Ronnie Rodenizer has been trying to tell us what DuPont Master Life is. Finally, we just decided we'd ask him, Ronnie, what is DuPont Master Life? Master Life means the best fiber in the industry. DuPont makes it. Prove it. Prove it. Here's your, here's your proof. It's a triobler fiber. I don't have to prove it. DuPont has. DuPont says this is the best fiber. Independent Laboratories testing it says this is the best fiber you can buy for your carpet. What does it mean to me? means to you that you'll get a carpet that has a full 10-year wear warranty, no crush, no mat, for, by DuPont, and it means that the fiber, the way the fiber's made, when it crushes, it bounces back. If you want the best, you need Master Life, and if you want to get it, you need to go to Rotenizer's Carpet in Collinsville. Again, aliens invade Collinsville. It's the alien invasion. Watch an alien be transferred to Earth. It starts Saturday night in the Holiday Shopping Center. Saturday, October 26th. It's the alien invasion. It's more than just a haunted house. <laughs> Brother, I'm 
point of view. Look at this, a beautiful bridge. Reversal into the backslide. Royce escapes, reverses the backslide. How often do you see that in the ring? Expected maybe injured, maybe in Vance Nevada. Now, baby, he's going to work on it. Do you see a resemblance between Vance Nevada and Terry Funk? In this particular incident, I do, baby. He's pulled down, he's pulled down the knee. Oh, my God! And the knee being whacked. Just drilled into that pole. Save for the title. Get him a leaky rail where you're the... Oh, the clip! Oh, my goodness me, baby. Like, like something that hits a turnbuckle, baby. Oh, my goodness, baby. Well, the knee. The rope, he's gonna fly, baby. Robin Royce is prone. Oh! Oh, my goodness, he went for a splash on the man's knee, baby. Robin Royce got out the way, baby. Vance is in big trouble. Robin's in big trouble. We got big trouble, baby. A nip up by Royce on that bad leg. Talk about guts. I think they used to talk about intestinal fortitude, but here in River City, it's about guts. That's right, baby. Robin Royce, this might be his chance, baby. Oh, clothesline. Beautiful hanging clothesline. Oh, he got caught. Oh, oh my oh. goodness me, baby. What? Under the ropes now. And a big clothesline. Oh, out on the floor. And he dives right over the floor. Oh, a lot of latitude, baby. Oh, baby. Now, now, now that, you was wrestling, okay, Robbie Royce. Right, right, Robbie Royce. Who the, who the last time I seen you in, in this area was your tag team partner. Well, see, you see, it's a, it's a very long, complicated story, Rick Diesel, and I, we, could, we could get into it right now. We could talk about it. It'd take us probably over an hour to go through the intricacies of, of all the problems that took place. Basically, he's an egomaniac, and I just couldn't deal with it anymore, so I had to get rid of him. And now I've got a bigger, better, and badder partner. He's the man of steel, wrestling sexiest man, Bugsy Slugliano. Collectively, we're known as Models, Inc. We held the River City Wrestling Tag Team Championship. We held the Canadian Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship. And if you're tag team champions, have the guts. We'd take them on. We'd take the AIWF tag team belts home to Canada. Um, bring it down. Okay. Ask a question, get a windy answer. Talk to me. Yeah, Rick Diesel, I got a two-part question. All right, man. Do you fear the militia or Bad Brad the most? I have, right now, I have no fear for Bad Brad, okay? But like I said, a lot of stuff has happened since the cage match in Mount Airy a few weeks ago. All right, when Bad Brad comes strolling in and he decided I was... Like, you've seen the footage, okay? Yeah. You've seen the footage. More blood than most people should lose in a lifetime, I lost in the sight of 20 minutes. And Brad had my career in the palm of his hands. I said it a thousand times. He could have ended it. He did not. So right now, I don't fear the militia, but I fear for the militia. I'll put it to you that way. All right, second part. I mean, most people are speculating bad Brad could turn on you because he probably has something to settle. Mm-hmm. Pass the counter. Well, I hope he don't make the same mistake he made the last time that he decided to cop an attitude with me and Brian Danzy. All right, see you later. All right, man. Hello, you're on the air. Rick. Yes. Um, one time when I called in another day on your talk show, you said you could fit right in with the horsemen. I was just wondering, do you think you're the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be? Who, me? Yes. Naturally. Of course, I'm sure he thinks that, and he thinks that, too. But Shawn Michaels. <laughs> uh, Shawn Michaels is not a concern to, to anybody much anymore. He's so worried about what's going on in the WWF, and he's so worried about posing for Playboy. He's so worried about all of that, you know, stuff that I continuously run him in the ground for. You know, guys like me and even the models, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> they don't worry about Shawn Michaels. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I already got to ask you a question. Okay. If you and Brad went up against Sting and Marcus, who would win? Sting and Marcus? Yeah, uh, they're friends. I was just wondering who would win. Uh, to be honest with you, if you're, are you talking about Sting and Marcus Bagwell? Yeah, they're friends. Okay, you said Sting and Marcus. Uh... I think Marcus Bagwell is a joke. Sting would give us a problem, as everybody would know. I give him his dues, but Marcus Bagwell is a joke. See, I ain't got the ego these two guys got. I had it one time, okay? But now, I'm sure you could ask one of these guys the same question and get a totally different answer. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I was just wondering. Bark it up. Bye. Thanks. Talk to me on the air with Vance Nevada, and I'm just going to call him. I, I call him Bugsy Slug. He calls him this name. It's like 27 letters long. He uses every letter in the alphabet to spell his last name. Talk to us. Uh, I just wondering if uh, if y'all had the chance to fight uh, wrestle Ric Flair or Sting in the would y'all would y'all do it? Are you talking to me? Yeah, all of any of both. Y'all go ahead and answer this one. I wrestle Ric Flair, sure. In fact. All it would take is for WCW to give me a call, say, Vance Nevada, we need you to come down here. We got someone, we need someone to wrestle Ric Flair. I'd be there in a second, and I know Bugsy Slugliano feels the same. I would be honored to wrestle Ric Flair. He's one of my favorite wrestlers in my entire career. That's what I emulate, is Ric Flair. And uh, it would be an honor to wrestle Ric Flair. I got a question, okay? You from Canada, right? That's right. Up around the Manitoba area. That's right. Okay. All right. Why is your last name Nevada? I'll, I'll ask the question. I know a lot of people's wondering. No, no. If you don't like the United States, why would you take one of our great states as your last name? That's my name. That's my name, Mr. Mr. Diesel. He was born as Vance Nevada. Oh, well, where are you born? Idaho. I'm fixing. I love throwing them off. Hey, you know hey. that. <laughs> Next. All right. All right, man, thanks. If there's nothing I like more than just throwing a monkey wrench in the whole conversation, you know, I love it. I love it. Just gets everybody off guard. I live for it. Talk to me. Vance. How you doing? Hey, look, uh, you from Canada? That's right. What do you think about Bret Hart? What do I think about Bret Hart? Do you idolize him? I would say that hands down, Bret Hart is one of the finest wrestlers, and I think what we're seeing that if you watch any major wrestling program in the world, Canadian wrestlers are taking over. In the World Wrestling Federation, you've got men like Bret and Owen Hart. In WCW, you've got Chris Benoit and now Chris Jericho, and you can expect these guys to go to the top too. And it's the same thing with Canadian wrestlers on any level. You're looking right here at the top tag team in Canada right now. That's why we're here. We are the very best from where we're at. And we come down here looking for the best competition here. Believe me, we're well aware of where we are. We're well aware that we're in the United States now and we're not the best here. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to try to prove it each and every night we get in the ring while we're here. Hey, who was, who was the nephew that died? Uh, Matthew Annis. Which one of his brothers? Owen? I'm not, I'm not certain. Let me give you some advice, man. Hey, look. Take Diesel and dump your buddy over there, man. Take Diesel? Yeah, dump your buddy over. I, well, well, I mean, I, they, I, I, tell you what. Dump your buddy and you take the other guy. That, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that Vance Nevada could further his career yeah. by I'll teaming up with Rick Diesel. Family. But I don't care too much for all that snow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I don't. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, Rick Diesel, we can sell it right now. How about you and Bugsy go out to the parking lot? Don't worry, I'll man the phones while you're gone. And will you guys settle it? And whoever walks back, I'll team with that guy. That may be a thought. Hey, Diesel. Last time I was in the parking lot, somebody ran over me with a car, though, down here. Hey, Diesel. Yeah, man. Why don't you bring them in the family, man? They look like pretty strong dudes. They look like they would do pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think so, man. And they would. Hey, just like me and Brian. It was right there in the top 500 in Pro Wrestling Illustrated. You can't oh, yeah, deny it. Can take over that AIWL. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate right. talking to you, man. All right, man.